All right, so welcome back everyone to Dark Souls. I'm going to show a walkthrough to uh, Pinwheel. And in order to get to Pinwheel, we have to go to uh, this way. He's actually a really simple boss to fight. Um, if you die at a Pinwheel, you should be ashamed. Ashamed? What? Ashamed. I'm sorry, I can't speak. Um, when you're first going through this area, it's best to have a divine weapon because there are some enemies, like the skeletons, that will not die and give you souls if you uh, don't kill one of the specific types of enemies down there that will revive these guys until you kill them. It sounds confusing if you're first time hearing this, but everything will make everything will be clear in just a few moments. Um, I want to show you guys a weapon you guys can pick up in case you're rolling with strength, you're not going with dexterity. Which, you know, I'll, I'll show you guys a dexterity weapon I'll, you can get later. Um, I'll show you that after pinwheel probably, and then I'll do need to later. So, over here, there's a bunch of assholes over here. That's why hander. It's probably the best, not the best, but. It's a really good strength weapon if you're starting out. If you don't have any weapons for strength, you can use that. I honestly didn't want to need to do that. This guy's a bitch, by the way. Come on. Do your fucking boots. He's a bit of a pain to fight. Especially in the Tomb of the Giants. You guys will not like that place. Luckily, I've already been through it so many times that, you know, it's kind of getting easier each time I go through there. So, um, I don't really recommend any divine weapons, just as long as you have one. It might not be very powerful, but I have a divine wing spear and it's not, you know, exactly good. It's not that good. I only use it for maybe the boss fight for Nito because the only way you can kill skeletons is by a divine weapon for you know when you're in the boss fight of Nito. So that's fun. Um, so let's head on down here. There's gonna be like three skulls or so down in that hole that will explode. I'm not sure if he gives you souls. No. You have to kill him with a divine weapon for him to give you souls because there's still one guy down here that will make it so that everyone here will revive. And I'll show you what I'm talking about soon. Um, it's through here, I believe. There's also a bonfire neatly right down here. If I can get around this guy. Here he is. The little bitch. And there's your bonfire. There's some guys coming behind me, that's cool. There we go. Sweet, now I can rest. You want to push this in too, because it'll open a door. Go ahead and rest. I like to repair every time I sit at a bonfire, because... I don't know, weapon could always break. So now that you've killed that guy, the skeletons up here will not respond if you kill them with a normal weapon. Um, once you get souls, they'll tell you that he's actually dead and he won't come back unless you rest at a bonfire. You know, because resting at a bonfire revives all enemies around here, but... Um, let's see, there's a guy I want to get rid of. That's cool, he just jumped off. He's in here. There he is. Such a pain to get rid of. I hope he's dead. No, he's not. Good. What'd he drop? Oh, sweet. I didn't know you can get that from him. God damn. Okay. Hard part's done. Pretty much. Now, we're going to do an amazing skip 
to pinwheel. We just gotta make sure all the enemies are gone. And it looks like it. So what we wanna do is we wanna jump we wanna roll from here onto the platform down there. And then roll when you land. Because sometimes there's a skull that'll explode and kill you if you're not careful. Right there. Just waiting for him to explode. Alright, quickly? Uh, not quickly. There must be somewhere around here that is uh, making them respawn. So, down here, you want to just fall down. And I think the skeletons will follow you down here. Paladin Leroy, summon him if you wish. I summon him because he's awesome. I think I wrote that message, I don't know. Just quietly, just walk down. Leroy will clear everyone for you. There's a falchion for you. Come on, Leroy. There he goes. Get off my ledge. Go get him, Leroy. <laughs> 2,201 damage. Wow, Leroy. It sucks that I can't heal him. Otherwise, he'll be such a badass. That'd be awesome if I could heal him. And yes, I'm going to let him deal with all the bone shields because if they roll into you, they'll probably kill you if you're not blocking. And looks like everyone's dead. Let's go, Leroy. I think it's a reference to Leroy Jenkins from a World of Warcraft video. I honestly don't know if that's true, but I'm just going off the name. It helps to be at full health before you jump down, because when you jump down, I think you suffer fall damage. Yeah, you do. Not that much, though. Also, I believe all fall damage is by a percentage, and not by a specific amount of health. Oh, pinwheel. So beautiful. <laughs> I've actually never summoned Leroy for this fight. I've always soloed pinwheel. And if you kill Pinwheel, he can drop on the mass. I believe there's three he can choose for you can get. The father, the mother, and the child, I think. If you die to Pinwheel, you should be ashamed. If I die to Pinwheel, I'm gonna cry. Which I don't think I will. I'm gonna kill him before Leroy gets here. Where is he? Ah, oh, that bitch is in the middle. I think the child mask is has the lowest percentage drop. Come on, Leroy. Where is he? Tell me. There he died. Bye, Leroy. Love you. Ride of Kindling. You know what that does? That will allow you to have 20 S's flasks. Which is awesome. God damn it. See, I already have the father, I already have the mother, but I don't have the child, and I'm trying to hope that someday it'll drop the child. You can farm them, because uh, Pinwheel is a boss that reoccurs as a usual enemy in the Tomb of the Giants. I can farm them for the Master Child, but I don't feel like farming, so whatever. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I don't really have enough time to go through Tomb of the G Giants, but coming next time we'll do Tomb of the Giants and then uh, we'll go from there.